Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series on using Kogo. In this video, we're going to do a simple translation and rotation. Notice here in the Traverse Manager that I started with two lots, lots two and three. I've entered the lot descriptions off of either deed descriptions or a tax lot map or an existing plat, and I'm assuming that these coordinates are on the grid that I want to use for this survey. Notice that point one down here is the southwest corner, that point two is the southeast corner of lot two. We're going to use these in a moment for our translation and our rotation. Notice that there's a third traverse here in the traverses manager called field data. Let's go ahead and tag that and zoom our drawing out so we can see that information in the drawing. <clears throat> the field data is control and side shots that we ran in the field to tie down information we wanted to gather on lots two and three. The problem is we didn't start on our survey grid. We assumed coordinates, uh, probably used a backside reference azimuth or something like that to get started in the field. And now we need to bring this field data onto our survey grid. And we do that through a translation and a rotation. Back in the Traverse Manager, let's double click the field data traverse to open it up in what Traverse PC calls the Traverse View. And I want you to notice that as I highlight point 100, over here in the description, that point 100 is a tie to point one, that southwest corner of lot two. In fact, we occupied uh, that point. If we look down a little farther, point 107 is a tie to uh, point number two, which is the southeast corner of that lot. And we're going to use those points in just a moment for our rotation and our translation. So let's start with the translation. Let's choose Kogo. Translate. The Translate dialog box opens up and we see that <clears throat> here in the what list, Traverse PC has chosen to rotate the entire Traverse field data. If I pull down the what list, I see I have other options. I can rotate or translate the entire survey, the three items that are tagged in the Traverse Manager. In this case, I want the default option, which is entire Traverse field data. Then I want to translate so that Point 100 in my field data is the same as point 1 in my existing survey. And so I want my two point to be a point that's already on my survey grid. I'm going to type point 1 in Traverse BC because of something called predictive data entry, lists all the points that start with the letter or the number 1. And I see the point that I want is right up there at the top called found 1 inch iron pipe. Let's go ahead and just press the enter key to bring that in. When the translation is done, point 100 will end up at these coordinates, 0, 0, 0, which is where we started our uh, legal description of lot 2. If I look here on the right under uh, section 2 in the dialog, I see how much that entire traverse is going to be translated both in the easting and in the northing, that x and y value there. So let's go ahead and choose compute to do the translation. And if we come back and look at our drawing, uh, we see that that field data traverse has moved to its translated position. Let's close out the translate dialog box. Let's come back to a point 100, and I'm going to choose Kogo Rotate. Now, I selected point 100 in the traverse view because I knew when I opened the rotate dialog box, Traverse PC would take whatever point was selected and put it in the rotation point field for me. So I saved one step of actually typing that uh, point label in here. Again, the rotate dialog box's default option is to rotate the entire traverse field data. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept the rotation point of 100. Now I need to specify the from and to. What do I want to rotate from and what do I want to rotate to? Remember the points 100 and 107? So I'm going to say I want to rotate from whatever bearing is between 100 and 107. I'm in a bearing field or an azimuth field, so I type in 100 dot dot 107. That's an equation that says recall the information, in this case a bearing, between those two points. I can do the same thing for the um, position I want to rotate to. That's 1 dot dot 2. That's south line of lot 2. Traverse PC now tells me it's going to rotate 131 degrees, 16 minutes, 44 seconds, clockwise because it's positive. And as soon as I hit the compute button, 
the rotation is, is done. Let's close out that rotation. Let's come over to our drawing and do a zoom extends. And I now have translated and rotated the field data traverse so it's on the survey grid for this survey, the same as lots two and three.